Good morning, folks. So today, I finished moving in my papayas. Just leaves one big Serenium cherry that I've got to move, and uh, I got to move some stuff out of the other greenhouse before I can get it in there. And anyway, that's what I'm up to today. It's just after the papayas i am through for today and just fairly pleased i've got some more rearranging to do a little along and along because some of the stuff i've got to get in bigger pots my kumquat trees and various things and then see where the best place to put everything is. But getting them damn papayas in here was a job. And my legs and back and hips and knees and just every whole body hurts. There might be an easier way to do it, but the way I had moved all those Half of 55 gallon drums was to take a pair of chain lock pliers and grab the edge of the pot and pull them. And I, anyway, yesterday in grabbing the edge of the pot and pulling them, my pliers plier slipped off and I naturally born busted my ass and not just my ass. My head hit the full force on that four by four right there and it didn't move near a damn bit and I lost some scalp in the process too but I slept good last night so I don't guess there's anything inside messed up too bad I've had so many hits to my head in my life that it it's a wonder I'm still alive anyway I am very pleased to get those 10 big papayas in here. And can't see it with the clump of leaves right there, but all the tree that had the papayas on it for some time now is back behind all that. This area right here I'm planning on, I'll put another little space heater right here whenever I'm done. But that's... Still some time away, uh, next day or two, I think I'm going to move one of the, the door that goes on this side in and fasten it up, and then I can't do anything with this until uh, a little bit later anyway. I can cut it, I'm going to try to cut it off and bundle it up and just put it right here inside the door. I have some more to rebarb wire that I use for the trellis here and I'm thinking I'm gonna hang it on it and see if I can keep all the fruits developing on it waited mighty late in the year to finally start bearing fruit it had had a, a couple earlier one of the storms that we had knocked some of them, one over here off, and the other one, I ended up letting it rot on the bush, I guess. But anyway, it, it's got a bunch on it now, but depending on when we have a frost as to whether it's going to do anything. This is my big Serenim cherry here, and I drug it down here. Got to move things around to where I can drag it on around to the other greenhouse. And like I said, I've got to move more of these big old kratoms. I was hoping that my 25 plants for 250, I'd get rid of some of them, but I didn't. And so now anyway, they'll I'm been still trying to keep them watered. They're looking a little wilted. I hadn't watered today. They're talking about rain, so if it rains, they're out here to where maybe they'll get watered. And uh, anyway, that's 
that's where it is for now. I'm fixing to go in the house and get off my feet. I'm just pleased to get all this in here. Some videos I'd been watching, they talked about some of these Serenim cherries that had got down into the uh, low 20s. I think one said even in the teens, but low 20s. And all I can put it in the other greenhouse over there, and I won't have because I don't plan on putting a whole lot of heat in it, just enough to keep it from frosting. So it ought to still do good over there. And besides that, I last year I got some fruit off of it during the winter time. So over there I have more room to where I can move around it and see if it does have fruit. I know whenever I was moving it had, I saw quite a few little flowers on it. I may have knocked them all off and dragging it down the hill, but that's my intentions anyway. Blessings, everyone. Stay safe. Wash your hands and wear a mask if you will.